Hey, what's happening guys? Daniel Reese from Zebrano Woodcraft. Uh, today um, I've just got a spare couple of hours this afternoon and I'm going to a wedding tomorrow. So two dear friends of mine, Sophie and Max, uh, they'll be getting married tomorrow, which is Saturday the 22nd of August. So I've decided to make them a nice pen at weddings and stuff. It's always cool to have a nice pen to, you know, sign the, for people to sign the guest book with. And obviously they're really useful to have around, you know, in the future as well. So I've just raided my cupboard of wonders here for a couple of nice materials to make the pen with. So I've decided to use um, a slimline pen kit with uh, some nice chrome hardware. I chose some wood purely for the symbolism. So I've chosen this Zebrano wood there. Basically, uh, Zebrano is known to symbolize creativity, wisdom, love and luck which I thought was very fitting for your guys' wedding. And also then I've got this lovely piece of maple. It's a tree of offering. It's generally known for kind of balance and promise and practicality. And I've decided that I'll also uh, be putting an inlay in this pen. So I'll be using this uh, bag of crushed malachite. It's a stone of protection. <laughs> it's a stone known for um, protecting from negative energies. And it's also a um, a stone to symbolize balance in relationships as well. So we've got like love, luck, generosity, balance, promise and protection from negative elements as well. So it's pretty advanced stuff. I'll probably do this video in two parts. So stay tuned. I'm going to start on with the project. The first thing I'll need to do is drink some coffee, get my wood blanks prepared to uh, put the pen together. So this is one I've done earlier. Um, I've trimmed the wooden blank down um, and inserted one of these brass tubes from the pen kit. To do this basically I trimmed the, the blank a bit bigger, a bit larger than the tube. The tube is about 52 mil so I've trimmed the blanks to about 55 mil um, and then uh, drilled out the center on the lathe uh, and inserted the brass tube. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. Um, to do this I'll be using the drill bit from my pen, pen turning mandrel. Uh, this one is uh, the 7 mil one. So let's get started with this. I'm set up on the lathe with my blank here held in my four jaw chuck and this drill chuck with the drill bit in. Basically I'm going to drill through this blank all the way through with this drill bit. To do this I'll just be drilling in about a centimetre or two and then retracting the drill bit to let all the dust out and then carrying on until the job is done. Okay so that just took a minute but that's, that's now drilled out. Let's go and put the brass tube in. I'm just at my glue up station. I've done the one blank before. Now I just need to glue the tube into this maple. To do this I'm just going to take the brass tube and just stuff it up a little bit with this um, coarse sandpaper. I think this is about a 130 grit. Now I'm just going to put the brass tube onto the end of this old paintbrush and now I'll just cover this in glue and just slot that into this hole and I've put a piece of baking paper down uh, so that the glue won't stick to my nice chopping board. Nice generous amount. This is a thick super glue as well like a a high viscosity one so it'll take probably about 30 or 40 seconds to set so I've got plenty of time so we just slot it into this hole and twist as we go there we go nice push it all the way down to the bottom and that should be nice and flush now everything's set up at the barrel trimmer <clears throat> which is this tool here and basically what we'll do is we'll trim the wooden blank to be flush with the brass tube. So to do this I'll just turn the drill press on and then I'll just come down and just drill it out incrementally really really slowly and gradually until the wood is flush with the brass tube. Now you can see that the wood there is flush with the brass tube. I'm all set up on the lathe, so this is the pen mandrel. So I've got 
two bushings. I've got a bushing in the middle, which you can't see because it's obscured by the wood. And then I've got two bushings here, a nut and the little screw. Uh, this first part is a high speed operation, so we'll turn up the lathe relatively high and start out with this roughing gouge just to get the blanks to, sh to a rough shape. We'll smash them with this until they're round. Then we'll do some final shaping with the skew chisel and then we'll do a bit of sanding. But I'm going to inlay this pen, so I'll be using this, I think it's called a spearhead chisel so I'll do that I'll use that anyway for the inlays so let's get going I'll just set everything up I'll remember to wear a dust mask when you're doing anything on the lathe and yeah we'll just start by roughing them out and then hitting them with the screw chisel So I've just finished with the roughing gouge. <laughs> it's pretty messy around here. Um, but the goal basically is to get the wooden blanks like roughly flush with these bushings as the bushings are the same width as the pen parts when you put it together. So I, I've just left myself just like a little tiny bit, like a fraction of a millimeter. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead now with the skew chisel um, and then I'll go into some sanding on the blanks. Um, the skew chisel, uh, basically the way that I use it is I kind of hold it sort of like at a 30 degree angle to the blank and then just move across really really quickly um, and basically the screw chisel just kind of gives the just a, a bit of a nicer uh, finish on the wood and you can just do the last kind of little bit of shaping as well um, so I'll just do that now and then we'll go on and do a bit of sanding So they're looking pretty good now for a skew. Um, they're kind of like nice and flush with the um, bushings. Um, so what I need to do is I might just whip over them quickly with a 400 grit sandpaper <clears throat> and then we can cut our inlays then and start the inlaying process. So I decided that this Zebrano piece here, this will be the bottom of the, like the kind of the the bit of the pen you hold with your finger. I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to actually inlay the maple. So I'm just going to cut two little inlays like there and there. And then I'll do like a pyrography inscription then. So <clears throat> let's um, just give this a go. So to do this, I literally just hold the spear point there and then just kind of gradually tilt it forward until I cut my inlay. Alright, so I've cut my two grooves now. <clears throat> now I'm just going to go over and fill these up with stone. So this is the procedure. I've just done the one side and I've just gloved up because I don't want to get any super glue on my hands or get any kind of dirt on the wood blank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this little recess with super glue. I'm just using like a, a medium viscosity one. And then I'm going to dip the blank into this pot of crushed malachite and what I'll do then is I'll just keep on doing it until as you can see like the the recess is just full to the brim with malachite and then we'll take it back over the lathe and we'll just sand all that off and it should look really beautiful so let's give it a go carefully 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 requires a steady hand this you don't want to get glue everywhere because then the malachite will stick to it It'll be a nightmare to get off, so let's uh, just be really, really careful here. Just got a nice generous amount of glue right in this recess. And I'm going to just bang it into the malachite really quickly. Now if I just take this little paintbrush, I should be able to just brush away a couple of bits of the excess. Definitely mask up when you're doing this. You don't want to be inhaling kind of crushed stones. It's quite nasty for your lungs. So um, yeah, definitely mask up whenever you're doing inlays like this. 
Right, so that's the first bit done. Now I'm just going to go back over now, just uh, fill in any little gaps. Yeah, just keep going all the way around with this. Just brush it off. Right, so that's cool. Let's take this back over to the lathe and we'll see if we can sand those uh, inlays down. And uh, hopefully then we'll get this pen looking really nice before we get on with the pyrography tool. Alright!